Hello my lovely Geminis. Welcome to your January 2019 reading, first reading of the year, the laying of the foundations for the rest of the year. So let's see what's in store for you. This is a reading for Gemini's sun, moon and rising sign. Always listen, also listen to your rising sign and moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. So welcome to your reading. If you would like to book a private reading with me, in the information box below you can follow the link to my website and you can book a reading from there. I am also in January still offering the yearly readings um, if you're interested in having a yearly spread to give an overview of your year. So let's get started with your reading my lovely Geminis and let's see what's in store for you. I can see that in in the recent past and this is going to be different for each of you some of you have been doing this months before some of you have just started doing this but there's a planning of um, new ideas new goals uh, the empress is creating the empress she creates a, a, an absolutely luxurious beautiful environment an environment that she manifests and creates gives birth to new ideas gives birth to you know it's birth of a child it's birth of a, a new idea of a plan um, of a new life um, it, it's many things to you know each of you but the empress is a, is the great manifester and it's it's the fulfillment of your dreams the fulfillment of your ideas it's planning towards creating a new life creating a new uh, surrounding uh, bringing new things into your life planning and and giving birth to new ideas new creations that you have so that's very much around you Gemini's that's a re and I get a sense of it's a really strong energy around you as far as uh, being this great manifester this great creator now you with with that you you also need to realize that as you can create positive things you can also create negative things it's about your state of mind it's about your self-talk it's about what you're thinking and um, that like energy attracts like energy so if you're thinking oh well I'm never going to get there I, this is going to be impossible that sort of thing that sort of energy is the energy that you're going to attract so it really is about manifesting and creating things in your in the state of mind that you have so listen to your self talk listen to your language listen to the words that you're using and if you catch yourself um, saying oh well this is going to be impossible I can't do this turn it around change it to bring in that positive energy because there is an energy of really manifesting and creating what it is you're wanting so that's going to be really, really important because you've also, you, you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the end of a cycle, which is the end of, you know, all your hard work, the culmination of everything you've been planning, the culmination of the changes you've brought into your life are, are, are coming to completion and you're going to start seeing results. The, there are rewards for your efforts so it's going to be proportional to proportionate to the effort that you've put in is what you're going to um, get back so the more effort the more concerted effort the more planning and the more um, goal setting you've done the more you're going to get back from that situation but it is now that time in January you're going to start seeing results of the, the fruit of your labor the results of your efforts it's going to start coming into you it's going to start coming to you it's going you're going to start receiving what is rightfully yours which is really lovely you're going it's things are going to start falling into place for you the people that you need the resources that you need are going to be there for you there's going to be synchronicities they're going to cross your path so you always know when you're on the right path when you're doing the right thing because 
um, the opportunities are there. When you are trying to achieve something and there's obstacle after obstacle and it's just slow and it's not getting anywhere, really stop and rethink, is this the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Is there another way I can do this and change direction? Because when you are on the right path, when you are doing what you need to, uh, you, what you're what your destiny is, let's say, then things will fall into place for you and you will start reaping those benefits. The resources, the people that you need are going to be there to assist you in January. You're going to start seeing results. You're going to start seeing results. What's crossing you is the death card and you know, don't, don't, don't go, uh oh, oh. That's terrible. It's not a terrible thing. The death card is an ending of situations that are no longer relevant to you, an ending of situations that are no longer useful for your growth, that are no longer useful for where you are going. It is now time to cut the dead wood, prune the tree, you know, the proverbial tree, cut those dead branches to allow new growth to come through. And that's where this is. It's You're reaching also in January a point where um, you're setting all these goals, you're on this new path, and there's going to be things in your life that are no longer of significance. They're no longer of any use to you. They're not going to be beneficial to hold on to. And by holding on to that, it's going to slow down your movement into the future, into what's what's in store for you. So that can be people in your life that are no longer, that, that are toxic, that are not good for your growth, that are manipulating. Um, it's time to release those, a relationship that's not working, um, that is keeping you in a place of being sad and, and that lack, when you're sad, you lack motivation, you, you lack foresight, you lack goal setting. It just doesn't work for you. Um, family, job, whatever it is for you, you know, it's time to have a look at it and start releasing that so all this other goodness can start um, flowing in. You need to make room in your life for this positive, these positive situations and people um, to come into your life. Otherwise, it's too cluttered. You're not going to see clearly. So that, that will also happen. So with all this great all these great things coming into your life there is also a need to sweep clean and move out anything that does not serve you okay anything that drains your energy anything that drains your energy that keeps you in a depressed state that where you lack motivation time to release that time to release that you've then also got the prince of swords which is like the page of swords you know it's it's the Prince of Swords is about forging forward with courage, armed with what you have learnt, armed with the new information you've gained, armed with the new foresight that you have. And it's now time, time of planning and thinking is over. It's now time to move forward. And you're going to, in January, feel this real drive, this real need to move forward. You're going to um, feel this restlessness. I think this is what my guides are telling me. There is this restlessness that's going to come in and it's about, it's, it's about, well, what changes can I bring in? How can I move forward? I want to move forward. I want to bring new things into my life. Um, where you're at, you're not any longer going to be satisfied with and that's this clearing away of the old and that's clearing away of the old behaviors and attitudes as well as the physical side of things it's a clearing away of habits that you have that are no longer no longer have a place in where you're heading in in where you're going and don't be afraid to Put your new plans into action, whatever they are. If it's a new job, if it's a promotion you're going for, it's a move of house, um, it's a marriage for some of you, uh, birth of a new child, whatever it is, whatever it is for you, have the courage to move forward with that newfound knowledge that you have, that newfound information that you have, that new insight on where you're going that you have. Because how that will manifest in your reality is the emperor. Isn't that interesting? You know, you've got the, the emperor and the empress. And the emperor is, you know, where the empress is, 
the mother of life, the giver of life, the, give, the birthing of ideas. The emperor is the decision maker. He's in control. He makes decisions. He is used to being listened to. He knows what decisions and choices need to be made. And so they make a perfect pair. The empress presents those things and the emperor makes those choices and decisions with confidence from a position of power, from a position of confidence, from a position of being used to being listened to. So whatever it is that you're wanting, wherever you're wanting to move to, do it with confidence. Do it with confidence. Um, because, you know, if you look at the card, you've got, he's got, you know, the water and the earth and the, he's got all the elements there. And he knows what he wants. He knows what he wants and he's not afraid to go after it, to, to make those choices and make those decisions. So that's really amazing. The two of wands is what you have coming up as well. And that's cho making choices, making decisions um, of where you're going, where you're headed. For some of you, it's about making those choices and knowing what you want, knowing where you want to go. For some of you, I feel like it's there's a there's a holiday over water that's coming up that you're planning. There's a plan for that. There's a plan for um, some sort of holiday across water or by the water. Um, some time out to reflect is coming up for you in January. Um, and, and for some of you, it's a planning stages. For some of you, it's you're actually off and going, going on this vacation um, across water. The, uh, for others of you, it's the ships of opportunity. You know, when the, when the ships ca come in from other lands, they bring all sorts of um, new things, spices, fabrics, you know, surprises. What, what does your ship hold for you? What hopes, what dreams, what surprises are in store for you that you're waiting for these ships to come in? With confidence, with luxury. Look, I mean, this this guy's dressed really, you know, with silks, and and he's he knows he's standing there with confidence, knowing that this is coming in. These are these ships represent your opportunities, your ideas, your that what you want to put in place. These, these things are all coming to you. You just need to be at peace and stand with confidence and know that they are. They're there, they're coming, they're coming, they're on their way. I really like that. I really like that. What's coming through in January, you've got the Five of, of um, Swords and the Five of Swords is about um, battles that you've had, um, conflicts, um, problems, situations that have arisen for you um, and You've overcome them. You've overcome them, but I want to say to you there's some sort of residual that's still there. There's something that still needs to be processed. Um, I'm feeling like there's something that still needs to be processed from those, those situations, from those disagreements or not agreeing with someone or having to fight for what you want. Um, there has been that and you, you've, while you've been victorious in that, I feel like it's left you with some sort of residual um, feeling that needs to be addressed, that, that you need to work on, that you need to work on. Is it the situation that you've walked away from that you think, oh, this is what I really need to do, but there's some sort of regret, it's not... Um, what do I want to say? It's, it, it, there's something that's happened that has caused uh, you've you've won the battle, but not without some regret. Okay, and that's going to be significant. I feel like that's going to be significant for a few of you, not all of you, but it's something that my guides are really bringing through. So you've made a decision about something thinking this is what I want, but is it really what you want? That's what I want to say to you. That's what's coming through. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that and I hope it makes sense for some of you because that's really what I have, what I've been shown. 
okay and I don't feel like that's going to be relevant for many of you but it will be very significant for some of you so that's that will be really interesting I hope you understand that okay the ten of cups you've got the ten of cups and you know it, the ten of cups is about um, getting to that place emotionally that is where you've want, wanted to be, where you're happy, your dreams are fulfilled. This is the wish card. This is this is feeling safe, being emotionally safe, emotionally secure, being in a really good space uh, as far as your emotions go. Um, I feel like it's a time of great joy for you that's coming up in January. It's a time of really... Um, knowing where you want to go, seeing that results are starting to fall into place um, and and feeling really good about it. For some of you, I feel like there's a wedding or a marriage or a union of some sort um, that is coming about for you in January that is providing for you everything that you've always dreamed of, everything that you've always wanted and there's absolutely wonderful days ahead with that. For some of you, it's uh, an idea that you've wanted to uh, put in place that is now bringing to you the security and and the happiness and the contentment that you've been seeking. So there's that as well. There's that as well. There's a bit of a mixture of cards here for you. Okay, you've also got the Eight of Cups and it's about turning your back on so, and then I think that's got to do with the death card. You know, it's turning your back on what is no longer relevant so that you're finding that you're in a really good place in goal setting and achieving what you want to achieve and making the changes that you want to make. And it's, it's about turning, you're ready now, you are ready now to turn your back on part the past, turn your back on past situations, turn your back on things that haven't been working for you, turning your back and walking away from things that have been holding you back and that can be many things for each of you and it's you're moving on to um, new new play, new things there's a new path there's there's new a new journey that's coming up for you when you completely um, disconnect from things that are no longer serving you in the past interesting it's an interesting reading I hope it makes sense to you because there's a real mix mixture here there's these great ideas and great successes but there's things that need to be released for some of you things that need to be released that um, could be holding some of you back or holding you back really um, put an end to that because you know you've got an absolutely wonderful spread of cards but then you've got these and to me this is what needs to be addressed, what needs to be looked at and needs to be got rid of in order for you to move forward. So if there's any regret over something, you need to forgive yourself, you need to walk away from that way of thinking so that you're moving to new horizons, new because look at this, there's new horizons there as well. And leaving behind everything that doesn't suit you so the past is the past close that door leave it all behind leave it behind don't bring it into 2019 um, because there's a whole lot of wonderful things you've also got the ace of wands as your final card and as your final card the ace of wands is is new beginnings as far as your creativity and your passion and your goal setting and um, that fire in your belly and that excitement you know this is a fire sign and it's about um, really finding that passion you're going to just be so energized by the end of January in wanting to move forward moving forward into greener pastures into new horizons into new ideas new opportunities that are just going to come to you they will come to you and you just need to be aware of those synchronicities and how you're being guided to those because your ship's coming in okay which is going to lead to really happy times absolutely so I hope that that reading makes sense to you my lovely Gemini's a lot of there's a lot of change coming in for you for the better which I really like absolutely fantastic 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw a card from the Angels of Abundance for you to summarise the key points of this reading for January. What is the message that's coming come through for you? Oh, there it is. Oh, too many have come out there. I'll just have to keep keep shuffling, see what comes out. I don't want a whole heap of them. I don't want confused messages. I want clarity for you, my lovely Geminis. Let's have a look. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Organise for success. Organise for success. And that's very much what January is for you. So do not let the word, the word organise intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organising your thoughts, your, respect, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. And that is just exactly what has, you know, in a nutshell, has come through for you in this reading for January 2019. I'm also going to um, draw a card from the Dreamtime reading cards that I've got. Um, as to your caution, what, what is your word of caution here? What is it that you're needing to really be mindful of in January 2019 for my Geminis? For my lovely Geminis, what is it that you're needing to be mindful of and aware of? Let's have a look. You know. <laughs> Knowledge, the fig tree. The fig tree is a really um, big tree with huge roots that go deep into the ground and wonderful branches that branch out. And it's, you know, this is represented, they're really old trees. It's about knowledge. And for you, it's about, you know, if you organize for success, if you goal set, it's about being armed with information, armed with knowledge armed with clarity of what you want and what you want to achieve. What have you learnt in the past? What have you learnt in the past? Um, there's no negatives. What have you learnt in the past that is going to help you to move forward? Everything that's happened in the past has acted as um, a clarifier for what it is you don't want and what it is you do want and use that knowledge in moving forward, in planning for 2019 to be an absolutely fruitful, wonderful year, following your heart, following your passions, following your dreams and not being afraid to do that. So I hope that this reading has been um, beneficial for you. I hope you understand the messages that have come through and I wish you many, many blessings, my lovely Geminis.